Positively Oklahoma update for you. You may remember last fall, we told you about the Art of Kindness Sock Project. That's where the Parent Child Center of Tulsa asked children to draw what kindness looks like. Well, tonight, Julie Chin reveals the winning sock and tells you about the unexpected twist that's Positively Oklahoma. <laughs> Acacia Castellanos and Sage Phelan are Green Country students coloring the world with kindness. So other people will be nice to you when you're being nice to them. Kindness is important because if you don't spread kindness, it won't come back to you. They're both 12 year olds who just met through the Parent Child Center of Tulsa's Art of Kindness Sock Project. Our agency focuses on preventing child abuse and neglect, and I think kindness just works step in step with that. We do a lot of anti-bullying programs, and just I think if the world is just a little kinder, and I think not only do children, but adults need that reminder too. So the nonprofit created a contest and invited kids 14 and under to enter by coloring this page. We wondered what kindness looks like to a child. We talked to children about kindness and what does that really look like to them. And we wanted it to open those conversations with parents and children and teachers and children about kindness. And what does that look like and what does that mean? The winner would get a $100 gift card and that design would be made into a thousand pairs of kindness socks. Because we all need socks. <laughs> um, everybody needs and loves wearing socks. And so um, part of the program was that we wanted to give, um, for every pair we sell, we want to give a pair to a child or family in need. Schools and families quickly hopped on board. My art teacher gave, gave us pictures and she said it's like a contest. Sage came up with a be kind and heart design while Acacia's life inspired her smile-covered creation. I like to tell myself every morning when I get up is uh, smile at someone and if they're having a bad day, like there's, like if you see that they're gloomy or like upset, um, smile at them and uh, they'll either smile at you back or you know just wave. The Parent Child Center tells me over 200 designs were submitted for this the first year of the contest and it took a team of nine judges about a week to pick the winning design and since kindness is better together instead of picking just one design they decided to combine the two. We just love that the, the two that came together were that simple design of a smile and the words and that heart to be kind because really kindness just starts with a smile. It's pretty simple to be kind to someone. And when the kids heard they both won, the news knocked their socks off. I was happy. <laughs> I was like so proud of myself. I could not stop smiling. The kindness super socks are now available. They are $15 a pair. We have 500 pairs to sell and 500 that we will be giving away. Simmons Bank is our sponsor and they covered the cost of the socks and the award. So every pair of socks sold, go, the proceeds go 100% to the Parent Child Center to fund our vital programs and services. A big win for all, especially these two whose common thread resulted in a new friendship. The best prize of all. Bed kindness and give someone a smile today. In Tulsa, Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. I love that story, that don't was you? Awesome. Yeah. Really good. And by the way, you can buy the socks through the Parent Child Center website. We've put a link for you on KGRH.com. The nonprofit is hoping to hold the contest again in the future, Julie says, and use words like courage and bravery. Oh.